Are you aware that you can boost your immune system naturally to prevent and aid in the treatment of cancer through the modulation of your microbiota? If you're interested in learning how you can help your body fight cancer cells without resorting to artificial means, then keep reading. In this video, I'll give you an overview of what we know so far about how our microbiota affects our health and how it plays a role in fighting cancer. We'll also talk about some of the things we don't know yet and what's still being researched. If you have any questions or would like to share anything specific that's on your mind, now's your chance. Cancer is a disease that affects millions of people worldwide, with no clear cure in sight. While conventional cancer treatments receive much attention, there is scant discussion on the latest findings in scientific medical literature regarding a more natural approach to tumor management, as suggested in this article. The link between human cancer and microbiota is well established, with an oncological immunological microbiome axis existing as a result of the interaction between our immune system, cancer, and microbiota. The human body is home to trillions of microorganisms, and these little critters play a vital role in our health. Within our bodies, there are 37 trillion microorganisms that inhabit various regions such as the lungs, mouth, nostrils, and most predominantly, the intestines. As highlighted in the article, there are historical links dating back 4,000 years indicating the significance of microorganisms in cancer. We now understand that the microbiota serves an immunomodulatory function, regulating our immune system and playing a vital role in immunotherapy the use of the immune system to combat cancer. Tumors are one of the most difficult diseases to treat. Traditional methods of treatment have been largely ineffective, with many patients suffering side effects like pain and fatigue. But what if there was a way to fight back? Researchers have explored the possibility of injecting bacteria directly into tumors to induce anti-tumor immunity throughout the body, as demonstrated in the graph. However, isn't it simpler to maintain a healthy lifestyle and share our microbiota without resorting to injections? Keep reading until the end, and I'll guide you through various methods of modulating your microbiota in order to combat an array of illnesses, including diabetes, obesity, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and many more, given the proven correlation between microbiota and these conditions. The study, published in Nature Communications, focused on the microbiota of pancreatic cancer patients. The researchers found that certain aspects of the microbiome can communicate with our own gut microbiome, leading to a dysregulation of our immune system and an increase in risk for disease progression and death. Specifically, researchers looked at several people with pancreatic cancer. Those who fared well, died early, or had prolonged survival. They examined the overall health of these individuals, their degree of insulin resistance, and whether or not their tumors were more diverse. The study revealed that those with more diverse microbiota had better outcomes than those who did not. Those with less diverse microbiota had poorer outcomes. You might not think of your gut as a place to look for amazing health benefits, but there's a reason that you've heard about this amazing ecosystem. Bacteria and other microorganisms are essential for our health, and in fact, they're responsible for helping us defend against pathogenic bacteria. They also help us digest food and produce vitamins. These microbes play an important role in regulating the immune system, which is why when we take antibiotics, our bodies are less able to fight off infection. In fact, it's been proven that having more diverse microbiota is associated with longer life expectancy. In one study, researchers looked at the diversity of bacteria in patients who had previously been treated for cancer or had recently died from cancer and found that each patient's diversity was correlated with their degree of survival time. This means that if you want to live longer and protect yourself against cancer, you should focus on increasing your bacterial diversity. Now, let's delve into ways to enhance the diversity of microorganisms within our bodies and explore this research on the critical role of the microbiome in cancer. By doing so, we can promote overall wellness and potentially impede the progression of cancer. The most important thing you can do for your health is to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables every day. In fact, studies have linked fiber consumption to a lower risk of colorectal cancer, with butyrate being a probable tumor suppression molecule. Vegetables contain fiber, which forms their skeletal structure, making it important to consume a wide variety of vegetables. In contrast, refined foods contain negligible amounts of fiber, and animal protein lacks fiber entirely. Humans can't digest all of the fiber we consume. 
Some is indigestible, and it must be processed by the bacteria living in our bodies. This process generates short-chain fatty acids, including butyrate, propionate, and acetate. These are essential to maintaining a healthy gut microbiome, which is vital for health, and they're just as important as eating fiber. We know that if you're reading this, you probably already know the importance of fiber in your diet. But did you know that fiber has another important role? It can help regulate your metabolism and promote health by feeding your gut's resident microorganisms. Our bodies are teeming with microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, and other microbes that live on our skin and in our gastrointestinal tract. These microorganisms help us digest food and protect us from disease by producing vitamins and other compounds we need to stay healthy. Butyrate is one of the byproducts of these microbes' metabolism. It's only made when our bodies consume fiber-rich foods, like those found in fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Butyrate plays an important role in promoting good health. It helps regulate blood sugar levels. It promotes energy production. It protects against cancer and it even helps balance hormones. So make sure you're feeding your microbiota with plenty of fiber-rich foods to help keep them happy and healthy. The microbiome is a community of microorganisms in our bodies, which includes bacteria and archaea. These microorganisms are responsible for keeping our immune systems healthy, absorbing nutrients from the food we eat, and producing vitamins, minerals, and other compounds that help us to function normally. But did you know that the microbiota can also affect your cancer susceptibility? And not only that, but the microbes in your gut can change the expression of your genes, so they're actually affecting your genetics. How diet affects our microbiota, and vice versa, is a fascinating aspect of the human condition. We all have an intimate relationship with the microbes in our guts, and it is no secret that eating a certain way can have a significant impact on our health, both physically and mentally. Whether you're looking for ways to prevent cancer or just want to feel more energized, there are several ways to manipulate your microbiota with diet. And as we've seen in recent years, these strategies don't require scientific study, they're just facts. Prebiotic foods work by creating conditions that allow beneficial microorganisms to grow in the gut. Probiotic foods keep harmful microbes at bay by feeding them the nutrients they need to survive and thrive. The fascinating thing about these strategies is that they don't require medical studies. They are based on science. We have all heard the expression, you are what you eat. Well, it turns out that even if you eat healthy food, it can still be bad for your gut bacteria. The way we are born, such as through cesarean delivery and the health of our mother, can also affect our microbiota. Additionally, antibiotics can have a detrimental effect on our microbiota. A low-fiber diet can lead to the death of beneficial microorganisms, favoring harmful bacteria instead. The modern Western diet is often high in preservatives, salt, and artificial dyes, all things that are not good for our gut flora. This is why it's important to read labels and stay informed about what you're eating so that you don't accidentally feed harmful bacteria. In our modern world, we're surrounded by all kinds of things that can affect our microbiota. The way we are born, the health of the mother, and the use of antibiotics can all have an impact. A low-fiber diet, lack of exercise, stress, and certain drugs can also harm our microbiota. Additionally, being in contact with the earth and animals, as well as being around other humans, can affect our microbiota. Interestingly, scientists have found that just by touching soil, we can change our microbiota, highlighting the importance of the environment we live in. So how do you avoid harming your microbiome? Well, it's not as simple as eating a lot of fiber or avoiding antibiotics. You should also make sure you get enough sleep, 6 plus hours, and move your body regularly, at least 30 minutes every day. And lastly, if you're feeling stressed out or anxious, talk to someone about it. Are you looking for a natural way to combat cancer? If so, the right book can help. The Cancer Diet, a lifestyle that combats cancer, by Dr. Douglas Graham, is a recommended source for further information on natural cancer prevention and treatment, particularly related to the microbiota. This book gives you the tools you need to make changes in your diet and lifestyle that will help prevent, treat, and even cure cancer, and it's easy to get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, comment, share, and like this video to help spread the message. Share this video with anyone who needs to hear about natural cancer treatment and how lifestyle factors can aid in treatment.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these other videos on cancer and health.